let's go and activate that. Let me turn that so I'm not all locked off. Let me just change all of the relevant uh, stuff. So, stream title. We are playing to beat Pikmin 4. Uh, category, the aforementioned Pikmin 4. Uh, tags, not 100%, not retro, not GameCube, not Animal Crossing. So let's put in um, Switch, because it's on a Switch. Pikmin, because that's the series. First playthrough. And I guess casual playthrough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 categories. Or tags, I mean. Awesome. Then also change my previous command. So that it will be playlist of my previous Pikmin streams, all two of them. Pikmin 4 streams. I think I just said Pikmin streams initially. My YouTube playlists are by game, not series. So there are playlists of my previous, like Pikmin 1 and 2 and 3 streams, but each one is its own category. Awesome, that's set correctly. And let's also go. Share on Twitter. Switching to pick min four now. And share that in my Discord. Okay. think I don't need to turn that. there we go that's I didn't hear a sound when I selected pigment four is our is there supposed to be a sound when you select something on a switch which is okay, no there we go there's sound okay more than pebbles as you earn more co-op points or receive items to assist other players in health master yet or dendori skills co-op mode p2 can toss small stones of creatures when they see the pebble pitcher on two players who explore side by side ochi's pup drive and skills rescuing castaways increases ochi's pup drive when you up his pup drive the more skills you can teach him Mm -hmm. 
Captain Greg. Did we take a look at all the treasures we have? No, apparently not. Said our thoughts on a fire breathing feast. Despite its wild intimidating outer appearance, fruit looks quite fancy and fine on the inside. Pine blocks facts decorate bright white flesh. All in all, it looks like an egg from the nest of some fire breathing. <coughs> oh, sorry. Half animal, half plant beast. Mysterious carriage. I understand that ancient literature from this planet tells of a noble woman who uses fruits for rind as a carriage. Clever. Additional lore suggests some sort of midnight deadline or missing footwear. Literature is complicated. I mean, snack bean. I love how the stylish bean comes with very own hard wrapper. It's as if it was made to be carried around and snacked on at a convenient time. It smells quite yummy too. Finally enough, you you think about having a bite gets me, makes me quite thirsty. I'm gonna try. Mm. I don't know if I change something at some point, but like the edge of my TV screen is being blocked. Well, actually, on both edges is being slightly blocked by like the very edge of each of my computer screens. Ah, I wasn't done yet. I didn't finish checking through. Talisman of Life, Moon. Ancient people of this planet use a sluck wafer during wedding ceremonies. They did so because the moon is the object one stares at when one thinks about someone they love, or at least that's what I, I stare at when I have on my mind. Alas, at this very moment, I have no one to think about. Aww. Okay, yeah, that's everything. And you are the one that has the. Made so many new discoveries while reading through the pick. Uh, you Piccolopedia. Okay. Porkillon. Porquillon. Porquillion. When it cowers down to roll up, it looks like it's feeling lonely. If you get closer, needles will or spot you become projectiles that will launch at you. Can't help thinking this is just a plea for attention. It's okay, prickly bean, I'll be your friend. And a wall pole. Watching it swim to and fro, fatigue and time just melt away. I'm able to relax this much, even on an unknown planet at the ends of the universe, because observing the aquatic beast takes me back to the waterfront of my hometown when I was a child. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I don't think I have. Oh, you've got new stuff. Visit the lava. Oh. Tough stuff. Um. Can't really afford anything from here anyway. Can afford items, but. I'd rather get the gear, because the gear is like, once you get it, you have it. Can I do any training? No, because I have one, and then, right, those are costs on the side there. These two each cost two, cost four, those each cost three. Okay. We're all set over here. This is Beagle like, taking you wherever you're ready. Ready to explore. Jerry, would that you like to explore? Uh, Blossom Arcadia, I guess. 
from another SOS signal signal this area one of our rescue officers may be waiting for us here. Let's go to Blossoming Arcadia. Rescue zero out of unknown, treasure zero out of unknown, onion zero out of unknown. Progress zero percent. Legend here. With all other skills I've been master, you can finally learn the legendary skill. Ooh, I like the sound of that. It sounds legendary. Come on, the number of Pikmin without an onion starts to dwindle. How about we search for that Pikmin's type scent? Is that an elephant slide? What do we have here? Any Pikmin that can... Ochi, we, if we can get Ochi to the other side, and treasure collected, if we can get up there, we can do something. See what we got over here. Well, we got some raw material. Oh, we've got um, someone up there with a cave. That's interesting. Pick the Olimar look like. Do we want to go up there yet? Um, I think so. Don't see any reason not to. Oh, I have to go. new on the tablet. Uh, rescue journal. If you have a bomb in your hand when a giant creature is about to attack, pull a bait and switch to leave them 
with Bomb to eat rather than you, my Shepherd 83rd Captain. Pikmin need raw materials to continue. Let's find more or return to the base. Ah, here's some more raw materials. So that's the Pikmin are finishing up over there. Play bridge completed. Um, I think I'm going to continue over here first, though, or at least get a bunch of Pikmin on this. Oh, they're working on that. Hey, Ochi. Let's grab... Those two and I'm okay, actually gonna let's go. I was gonna go and search over here. Oh, there's another landing area there. So we want to continue searching over here. I think this area first, regardless. These are the electric guys, right?
bit easier, and then we're gonna dig this up. Going to need more Pikmin for that. And a treasure collected. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Oh, a few of these. Or not flowers. So another seven. on here. Something wrong? It's like the end, but nothing's happening. The life signs inside the onion. There are 20 more Pikmin than before. As long as you already have an onion of the same color, the new one just gets turned into nutrients. Okay. One yellow short of getting that because yellows you can throw further than the others because they're lighter. Oh, apparently, we have some lone pick one over there as well. St. Clair onions. 
I don't have any of the same colors I previously fused the onion, but how to transform anyway. One bit to the other onion. 20 pigment seeds of the color were propagated. Drawing one of your own species for nutrients is horrifying and impressive power. Is a horrifying and impressive power move. Yeah. Just checking if there's anything else new. Let's go do this cave, I think. Secluded courtyard. In the natural world, there are many examples of strategic mimicry. Walls are trying to perceive safety, but I never thought I would witness firsthand. Now no danger can lurk in even the jiggliest of places. Um. Sure, we'll go with the suggested. Let's see how that goes. Let's click courtyard, sub-level 1, progress 0%. Rescue zero out of question mark. Treasure zero out of question mark. Onions zero out of question mark. I see any case. In exploring case, it's possible to have more than three types of pigment in your squad. that it shows up like there as new even though you know it already showed up as you know a thing that you read automatically when going in is weird yeah what's going on here Seen big one like that before. These before. I wonder if Captain Olimar ever encountered anything like them. The blue pigment. Glass of blue pigment appeared with moth like kills and are notably able to function even underwater. Thanks to their water resistance swimming talents, I cannot transport things found in the water. I can carry things in the water. Search to see the water thoroughly. I'm counting on you, Eric and Ochi. Collected. Yeah. 
Um... No. How do I dismiss Pikmin again? Log, yeah, blue Pikmin. Read that. Um, gameplay guide. Controls. Disband, here we go. Um, tilt L, okay. Wait, what? the blue since <laughs> like we actually made some progress on moving that rubber ducky just by them accidentally pushing it when they were moving these leaves. Sad. No, nah, we'll just. We do have two at least. Yeah, two that just have leaves here. Get 
too excited. Oh, I guess I could use the ice ones to... Freeze. The water. Forgot about that. <laughs> so excited about the blues that I forgot what the ice ones can do. I think this floor is done. Okay, let's continue downwards. Onwards and downwards. Sub-level 2. Progress 25%, so that means should be 4 levels total. Treasure 3 out of unknown, everything else is 0 out of unknown. So yeah, don't worry about gathering people before we get next sub-level. I know, and yet I do every time. There must be a castaway nearby. Yes, I know you're drowning. Hurry, if anyone's drowning. It was called back to the shore. I know. That's what I was about to do before you interrupted me. I don't want to freeze it.
some Pikmin there. Mostly because I had no idea what was going on. sparkling we collected awesome fantastic we accomplished our goal so much energy collected we can really expand the radar search area new treasure collected okay this leads us around to where we already explored so we'll go pick up our pikmin that are back base I think I saw a... Okay, that's gonna be where we continue. Okay, we got another survivor. Francois Uji. For years, of scholars have been working to achieve lifelong dream, reaching mutual understanding with planet life. I mean, hey. Task Force, I had no idea there were researchers stranded here, too. Okay. 51 out of 51. Okay, so we have... Badge Francois. Okay. We have all our Pikmin. We got everything here, it looks like. Let's move on to the next floor. Level 30, progress 50%, rescues 1 out of unknown, treasures 6 out of unknown, onions 0 out of unknown. Tree Angel Slurks gets stronger as you move closer to treasure and castaways, so and there's nothing left to detect. The cage automatically turns off. Okay. 
Hey, what does our map look like when we first drop into a level here? Okay, it shows us like the basic layout, but to return to a sub level. They're directly from the cave's entrance. Okay, so we'll get our yellows. Working on that. Well, there's the next laid down. What's over here? Demolished. Well, call who back quickly. What's going on? Somewhere there we lost a Pikmin. Where? Okay, we've got the flower like. We're gonna have to get on the surface. I'll bring me down to the next.
Okay. Is that everything? No, it's not everything on this level. Do I can just go through here, can't I? Ochi can't. Pikmin can. I think I was gonna like find some like switch or something to open this up, but no, I just need to. See if any. Yeah, I think I have some more that can. Okay, I think we're good now. So let's go and drop down. Final level. Let's see what we got down there. Secluded courtyard of level four for seventy five percent. Receives one out of unknown. Treasures nine out of unknown. Onions one out of one. Okay. Candy pop up. Try to turn you into candy pop buds. There must be a castaway nearby. Oh, that's the only thing direction I can go. Yeah, this doesn't seem at all ominous. Help folks out again.
Okay, what do we got now? It's this ID badge, say. Tinia Ogura, highly focused and intelligent. She joined the team to investigate mysterious creatures through her unconventional methods. Oh, investigate mysterious creatures. Let's come to study Pikmin and other usual wildlife here. Uses to heal. Which is interesting. Otherwise, I think we've got everything. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So this cave should be done, assuming I didn't miss anything. Press one Petunia, rescues two, pop drive up, plus two. Sparkling discovered. A bunch of stuff, awesome. Investigation complete. 100%, awesome. We lost four yellows, one blue, and four ice. Okay. You can now withdraw increase by 10 again. Makes me want to feed that onion even more. What? Why can't these Pikmin come out? Ah, according to the Voyager log, only three tits Pikmin can get out on the surface at any given time. They really have developed a lot of protective traits to keep their species from getting totally wiped out. Fourteen of those. <laughs> Doesn't really matter which I choose too much.
you know. Some nice progress on that area. I mean, it was our first day in that area, so. Um, you know, a lot of it was just figuring out the layout and the details and such. I guess I can get to an, <laughs> first day in that area and I can already get to the next area, I think. Right. If I got enough. Yep, further expanded radar range. We're gonna sorry that's the shepherd's radar in our town research area. We need you to get out and gather more sparklium. Here's your punishment complete. Now let's switch on the radar. working. Yes, once again we detected more SOS signals in an unexplored region area. Out here our search radius has increased. Let's not waste any more time. We need to get out there and find our missing rescue officers and Captain Olimar. Situation results day six. That's one Petunia. Rescues nine up to nine to eleven. Pub drive to three. Sparkling discovered. A ton of stuff. Awesome. Status report for the area. 15%, so 2 out of unknown on rescues, 14 out of unknown on treasures, 2 out of unknown on onions. Okay. Lost total of 13 Pikmin. Raw material got, yeah, up to 94 from 16. By the way, Eric. Press and open shortcut settings. You can assign different functions to um, Yeah. Really? Can you assign the rescue journal to one of those? Of course. And then you could reference whenever you need some quick advice. You can even assign actions like disband or select items at the push of a button. Setting up shortcuts seems like a great way to improve your Dandori practice. So you improvements, Colin, be more efficient if you share such information a lot sooner. I need to do two more. So I need to get to 7,000 for the next. All our, yeah. Side missions. Complete. Report back. Oh, I almost got that one. Okay. Rescue mission day seven. Uh? The rescue command post was getting a bit crowded, so we started clearing a new area where we came upon something odd. Station in disrepair. Huh, it's clearly missing his captain. Probably out there somewhere, in need of rescue. We are best to find them. I almost forgot. We also found some raw materials while establishing the new area. Please put them to good use. Ready for some more training? Such a pleasure to speak with you. I'm Francois, botany specialist and enthusiast. Are you a plant lover too? For years I've been working on two-way communication between plants and well us. I think Pikmin might be the key. Kindness, that's why I love plants and Pikmin. They're kind, they listen when you talk and accept you, whoever you are. Wouldn't want a friend like that. 
there would be so much less sadness in this world if everyone could refer to Pikmin. Good of civilization, we must propagate more Pikmin. Help me with this task for a token of my thanks. Grow the Pikmin population by 300. Okay. Spaceship is that. Well, I can't do anything with it. Treasure catalog. Hello. Let's see here. Let's view treasures. Universal rubber cutie. Your late eyes on something more adorable. I, for one, have not. Gazing upon its future, which fills me with is it admiration? Oh, well, whatever it is. I recommend everyone with their eyes and heart to the sublime and squeaky being. Okay. Sticky jewel. Only this glimmering gem quite beautiful. It's, the mineral it's composed of is known for being highly sticky. Even as a present to a loved one, a person a wand that is equally adhesive. Floral instigator. Feeling down, then simply shake a stick at a dormant tree and its flowers will immediately come to life. You may ask how this is possible in the serious age of technology. It's beyond our comprehension. Simply put, it's magic. Let's just leave it at that, shall we? Astringent clump. It's your fine palate to appreciate all this fruit has to offer. It is at once sweet, bitter, sweet, sour, bitter, and even spicy. But those capable of pushing through the complex, slightly painful taste experience will find themselves greatly rewarded. Disguise delicacy. It's a miracle anyone tried to eat this unpleasant looking fruit the very first time. You'd think it's hairy, so you would have scared them off. Yet eat it, they did. And we should all be grateful for what a tasty treat it is. Further proof that luck favors the bold. Wand imposter. Blonde imposter simply disguised delicacy in disguise, you might ask, not all, it's very much his own fruit. Juice and sweetened is even more of the beautifying vitamin picked him in you than its green cousin. Imposter, psh, it's as real as it gets. Citrus lump. For the only the stacy fruits near perfect grand shape, which is not like the face of a shrewd friend. No, the thick skin suggests it's a survivor. It's seen things, it's been there. So let's look at the this way. As with a friend of ours, it might take some effort to get to the good stuff, but oh, what a reward once we do. Daughter doll head. Still inherited her wise looks from her mother. She's lucky to be part of three generations that have handed down one of their best traits. Of course, in reality, children often inherit our very worst traits. As well as that, the answer is complicated. Time marker. This great bell's been traditionally been rung at the end of each day, each month, and each year. What a beautiful tone to mark the passage of time. Of course, once one counts up how many times they've rung this bell, it's a pretty jingle may turn into quite the startling jangle. How's it that so much time has flown by? Decorative goo. It's two blue, decorative blue goo is sure to inspire craving and comes to call. It should also be a reminder to welcome new colors to your life now and then. Don't get stuck turning to the same hues over and over again. Go wild, unleash a new you. Expression hider. This clever contraption is meant to be used when you don't want to reveal your emotions. Stand behind it and will render any expression on your face unreadable. Its blank eyes and straight lips will keep your innocent innermost feelings safe from prying eyes. Sweet soaked bluebird. So put a great deal of work in its crafting this particular replica of an avian creature. Clearly, each inch, each crevice has been fused with the sweat and prayer of its creator. All their hard work and dedication has paid off. Behold, the ores that emanate from these folds foretells the great things to come. Perhaps happiness truly does arrive on the wings of a bird. Talisman of Life, Cherry Blossom. Starting school, getting a new job, people in ancient times pray to this luck way for it. Moments of big change in their lives. Flowers do bring to my new beginning, so it does make sense. We all want to blossom, don't we? Okay. 
Thank you for your help. I feel like an energy energy build place inside me is being filled up. Hey, clear. Oh, that was so fascinating, but let me know if you find any more new snarly stuffers out there. Line 50, okay. Smashing on a yeah, uh, view Piclopedia. I see what we've got now. Got a few swooping snitch bug. If you were swept up and then tossed away by these long, those long dangling arms, I think you'd better understand. If you like to be a Pikmin, a little courage, all you need to give it a try. Consider it a learning experience. Skitter leaf. And with its fire and spring color and precise shape, this kind of crawler looks like a, just like a leaf. It's perfect camouflage. It only becomes an issue when this. Sometimes careless critter forgets to look for hiding place with an abundance of other green leaves lying around, and then it becomes quite easy to spot. Desiccated skitter leaf. When his master of disguise for season is right, it's a fun little game. Try collecting a bunch of dried leaves, then shuffle Mr. Desiccated skitter leaf, and then if you get a normal leaf, you lose. So if you pick this clever critter, you win a big. Feeling lucky? Anno de Dweevil. We won't wake up every day feeling as good as. We don't wake up every day feeling as good as we want to, but. Right free color of this little charmer sure makes me feel like I got my benefit for the day. You'll have to lose time with your stiff muscles with this Dweevil's therapeutic electric shocks too. Yellow spectrolids. Fleeing around all over the place, the wind beats of a little spectrolid can cause a tornado on the other side of the world. So some have said. What I wonder is how much influence do those these charmers have on our being on this planet right now? Sun squish. Pretty Peculiar little button has the perfect texture and coloration to pass as an egg fried sunny side up by Master Chef. There's nothing about it that makes it seem threatening. It looks so yummy. Can't help thinking of a delicious breakfast when I see it. Foolix. If you take a sm the microorganisms I used to peer through my microscope as a child and blow them up, much bigger than what you get. A huge single celled sweetie. Blorpily slosh around and search for food. This giant were the microorganisms. Downy Snagret. So this wee one blinging around and pecking at its food all while skillfully balancing its one leg is truly awe inspiring. If too close, it might feel vulnerable and give you a warning with its beak, or it might just turn to you for comfort. Bearded Amparat. A little cute is a long beard that makes it look a bit curmudgeonly. If you were to try brushing it, do so with caution. It's your own well, well, see it for yourself. Moving close together, good luck and truly really Trucking experience awaits you. Yellow Wooly Hop. Don't think of it as unexciting. This creator's simplicity is it's quite refreshing. If you raise one from a wall pole, you will certainly do it or it. Also, the species can be a bit standoffish, though. Oh, that's okay. That's a baby version of this. Okay, that's interesting. And Blue Pikmin. It wouldn't be overstating to say that watching these Pikmin navigate the water with the grace of a fish is one of most lovely things to behold on this whole planet, but if you really want to see them swimming, you'll need to offer them some live bait. It's so neat. Uh -huh. um. Excuse me, is there anyone someone who needs rescuing? I don't recall seeing anything. I'm what? Oh, I'm a castaway? Huh. I was so busy looking around at the floor, I had no idea. According to Olimar's log, an onion, as they're called, will fuse the onions of other colors. Extraordinary. For the sake of my research, if you fuse any onions, please let me know. What? You already made the onions fuse? No. If you allow me a moment of selfishness, I'd hope to see the onion prior to fusing. Okay. Key. Create a new item. Well, a prototype with the mirrors I had. And you have to come see for yourself. Uh, visit the lab. Key, let's get started. Mm, why am I going to complete our task when you can summon them with this? Let's see. Mine. Spawns as the movement of sure explodes. Key, you can even stick it to those pesky creatures. Well, let's grab the prototype. Mm hmm. Okay, what do we have? We have 140. Um, yeah, 
let's get the anti-electrifier for Ochi. So train Ochi. Uh, train course. We're going to go with heal, actually. Rescue journal. We done on the last phone. Out to space. It was great. Was this fast? I was not gonna be hurting yet. I can still clearly hear the patting of my own heartbeat. Space. How it overflows with possibilities. Can be no note. This is one giant leap forward for our kind. Ed Shepard, 65th captain. And side missions. Fusing onions. Yeah. Um, line 50 and. Clear ones I still have to do. Okay, well, I'm. Hello? It's interesting to see more signals in that recently discovered area. I may be working on all my arms, but see where the offers are. Ready to explore. Okay. Jerry would like to explore. Blossoming Arcadia, and we still have a lot to do here. Hey, Maractus fan, thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated. How's it going? How are you doing today? Okay, so we're 15% for this area. Two rescues, 14 treasures, two onions so far. Right. You can choose whether the direction of the radar map remains fixed or rotates to match the camera angle. Open the tablet with plus, then press B to access uh, the other apps. You're doing plenty fine. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Yes. Eric, coming over. Which is never really like getting wet, but I've been working on it with him in the bathtub aboard the SS Shepherd. Last night he had a big breakthrough. You rescue Pupkin Swim. Should we be picking forwards to see if anyone wanted help or anything like that? Oh yeah. Now that he's over, is this like water? He can jump in and use doggy paddles to swim through any water obstacle. Now that he's back with the Pikmin, you can ride across bodies of water to explore new areas. Awesome. Um, what do we want? How many Pikmin do we want? Oh, I guess, yeah, we'll grab 18, 18, 14. So, we don't want anything story wise. 
Don't worry about any spoils. Oh, yeah. I mean, some stuff I've already had spoiled. Oh, wait one second. Just go to text here. Um... I have watched some other streamers playing this before I got it and started off myself. Uh, tip for me? Mm, yep, yeah, go right ahead. I'm gonna have to go on break shortly, though. But yeah, let's try this swimming with. Oh, gee, okay. If I. Return, return. Pikmin? I know of them. I haven't got up to that point in the game yet, though. During the night mode, it's really short. Okay. So most time you get before any creatures go crazy, you can get like 50 Pikmin. Interesting. Huh, HP has against this pro early any longer. Yes, I know. Well, this is chaotic. So you can get rock pikmin here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. This seems... Oh, I don't mean to do that. Press the wrong button. I was going to say this seems suspicious, but apparently... Oh, no, yeah, suspicious. I knew something seems suspicious about this area. What the hell is this?
Ooh. Charged all the way up. Oh. Okay, that's not what I was expecting there, but okay. Creating a bridge of sorts. Interesting, interesting. Another tip rock pikmin are good alternatives for probably pikmin due to their not being squishable mechanic. Oh, yeah, makes sense. I've been... Yes, I've been here before. Yeah, this is right over here. Okay. I have a terrible sense of... Um... <laughs> direction. Let's grab uh, more... Well, it's actually... Could move my base over here. Yes, we have to be base. I am aware. Drink up. At least the ones that can. Let's get some pick yellows stirred on this. And then let's go take up these guys. How many 
who's the eight. How do you do need for that? I mean, first, let's take out. That was five that I had up there, okay. Time of raw material transported, excellent. And then we had picking that or building something over this way. I almost forgot about. I only had like a few of them building, so it was gonna take some time. Excellent. Take a ten more people now. This should just be up our search. Yes, it should. Yes, it should. done. This is done. We do have that cave over there. What is that thing? And what kind of threats? I think it, mm, maybe it's a fire breathing thing based on the shape of its mouth. kind of threat it was, but we took it out. It inhales stuff. Oop, too late. Okay. Climbing wall completed. Good stuff. Oh, this brings us around this way. Okay. That's oh, a yo yo. Um. Oh, sunset. Looks like all my Pikmin are Cause the issue right now is the ones that are 
grabbing that material, which was where again? Okay, so if we go this way, we should be able to find most of them that aren't just back at the base. Missing two. Missing two, and I'm not. Sh oh. oh, one second. I need to go on break. Mom um, just is here. Um.
Okay, sorry about that. Uh, my mom is dropping off her car so I can borrow it for... Why can't I put them back in? I'm confused. Where? Okay, yeah, dropping off her car so I could use it for work tomorrow. And she forgot to text me to let me know that she was on her way. So then she just texted me when she got here. Oh. Why am I not seeing? The other two Pikmin. Oh, they are there. Well, it's too late now. Sorry, Pikmin. Sorry, buddies. Uh, I'm talk no. I'm not gonna do that again. Just, you know. We lost two soldiers, yeah. I'll rewind if it's like a ma major loss. I did that uh, earlier in the previous area at the one point, but. Yeah. Even that, I don't know how much. The further I go in, I think the more I'd have to lose to rewind, because I, I, I don't like redoing stuff like that if I don't have to. Mm, so that's, yeah, that's the same. Sparkling discovered. Got three things, okay. Uh, only up to 17% from 15%. Oh, we got all the onions in the area, though. Okay. Three out of three. You too? Yeah. Hmm, no matter how many times I look at them, I'm still confounded. These treasures are mysterious things. Indeed, who made them, and for what pur possible purpose? Think back to that treasure we found the first day. The Stone of Advancement was able to open and close, right? We were said, like, two times, though, yeah. The thing is, I'm also, like, you know... I started with Pikmin 1, um, you know, Pikmin 2, Pikmin 3, or whatever, so, like, the whole reset, uh, rewinding, or whatever feature is, like, okay, that's just not in my, like, that's not something I even think about, unless, most of the time. <laughs> he has intended some sort of makeshift shelter to protect created from the wind and the rain. Interesting theory, though, likely incorrect. Okay. Yeah, I think the, t the the time where I actually lost a bunch was I don't remember what how it happened. But somehow I accidentally fell in water or something and just like had a ton of pigment drown on me. So that was like, okay. So that was because some big scorpion just tried to demolish you and then you reset twice on the final boss because it's hard. Oh yeah. Ah, collected quite impressive you've collected quite impressive trove of goodies. It's humbling, really. It isn't much, but please accept this. Hey. Please, if you will let me raise as many goodies as possible, I'll tell you. you know, I'm always excited to lay eyes upon a new treasure. So when I get 100 treasures, talk to you again. Well, I mean, for that. Let's see what we've got. Like reading the descriptions. Um, orbital communication sphere. 
Its communication sphere has fallen from its place orbiting the planet. Note how the bumpy surface was designed to maximize transmissions. A pity that it is no longer functioning. Perhaps a blow with a large stick could launch it back into orbit. Uh huh. <laughs> and what else did we find today? Or previous day, I guess, in game. Octo Plus. Alien invasion? No, no, it's just an octopus. Or is it? Something quite strange about this one. Could it be a new species? Perhaps? Well, whatever this thing is, the adorable beady eyes stare unblinkingly at me. I'm almost certain it's communicating telepathically with me. Unfloatable boat. Rare and precious boat that does not float. It was once used to predict a village's future. It's a miracle the boat remained slightly buoyant in the water. It meant that the village had the approval of the gods. Sadly, the boat's shoddy construction makes that seem like a rather unlikely outcome. Okay, that's everything new. I'm sure you have new stuff. Let's see here. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Joust mite. The eyeball-like pattern on its shell reminds me of my father's eyes staring at me after we buried him and sat at the beach. We took him out immediately when he gave us that look. Make it so easy to imagine what infected deterrent those staring eyes must be to natural predators like birds. Metite? Che the cheeky metite lays its eggs inside the eggs of other creatures to provide its offspring with an easy first meal. First come wriggling and squiggling out its spine chilling. You can't blame the newly hatched larvae. For all you might enjoy an egg or two yourself now and then. Waddle quaff. For this is a bottomless stomach and will swallow down anything and everything unfortunate enough to end up in its path. It will even consume things larger than its own body without missing a step. This part is its goofy little head that looks just like a fuzz covered gourd. I mean, yeah, kinda. Creeping chrysanthemum. Let's have a creeping chrysanthemum show, why don't we? We'll gather hand raised creeping chrysanthemums and have a contest based on size, flower color, things like that. Half animals may be a behavior category too. Of course, how could the judges ever choose a winner? Each of is so beautiful in its own way. Okay. Let's see, anything else? Oh, you got some new stuff for us? Let's see what we got. Um... Craven go and call him back to the SS Beagle. Oh, that... Yes. Tough stuff. Um... Age idle counter. Mm. Yeah, let's go with the idle counter. Okay, uh, I don't think I have. Wait. Yes. Do I have? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, that, it's new because we have the, uh, the, the, the new thing we can learn, but we don't have any pup drive to learn at the moment. Okay. Let's explore. Continuing with uh, the Lost Me Arcadia. Only at 70%. We have much more we can do here yet. I think first thing we're gonna do um if you were base the SS Beagle will bring Ochi along with any rescue officer and pigment being near the previous base. Yeah. You wanna change the way you look around and open yeah. <clears throat> Just the camera controls from normal or inverted. Now I'm gonna go with the camera controls. Uh, 
so now we have 60. Let's grab all 13 of these. Oh yeah, I can do, if I hold Y, I can do 10 at a time. Something new on the tablet. Missions. Ah, appraisal frenzy, because you have to finish the other one. And voyage log. Blossom memories. Series so blossoming with radiant blossoms. I recall how in the spring I would go for a stroll just to the flowers of my neighborhood on planet Hogotate. Imagine my dog frolicking beneath the falling petals seemed to put my troubled mind at ease. Okay, I think we're gonna go up there and well, actually, first we're going to do check this just while we're here. Passing by. So I just realized I never saw that before and then. It's that leafling again. A figure lying down there must be. might just be our pilot. No joke, they could be a turner into a leafling. What are you waiting for, newbie? Hurry up and save them. Just wanted to wait till they finish delivering those things. Okay. Yes. So, five minutes battle in a box. Let's go. Dandori level 2. Don't even follow Bulbars if you don't have Pikmin wait until your opponent defeats them and steal them. Oh, I just remembered. So you have come again. Those who don't embrace Dandori cannot survive this planet, but if they grow the leaves, we can return them to life. I'll determine if you have the strength to save them with a Dandori battle. But this time there will be one more rule. One must be ready to change tactics at a moment's notice. This round, an object or a creature's value can increase for a brief window. These higher values make them bonus finds. When you transport and collect the bonus finds, you earn double the points. Do you think you're going to out down Dory me? Well, I did last time. hate the um the way the screen works in this. I oh, don't no, actually you guys stay doing what you're doing. Thank you. 
Oh, they're his. Pretty well, that it is. I did a bonus find. One short. Okay, well, I win. by at least 60. That's right, I did. Can you show the mastery in the art of Dendor? I'd leave the rest to you. Okay. I do not like that side-by-side -side split screen, though. It... Monthly will get angry recover the castaway safe and sound. Impressive victory. You know, it is what it is. Game doesn't give us a choice, so it's what we have to work with. Chat with the customer that's a Spiegel ASAP, Eric and Ochi. Special Rob Shields depleted. Well, if I recall correctly, there was some stuff over here that I was working on at the end of the day. Oh, there's that cave which I haven't done yet, right? Maybe you guys will have more success getting their ID information. Able to read data. Huh? Does it mean that when someone has leafly their biometric authentication data is unreadable? Even science is unable to solve this problem, and I'm afraid I'm at a loss. Uh, yes, here we go.
Shrink things. So we're gonna need Pochi for that. There's a camp over there. Okay. Let's go refresh on our collection of Pikmin. Seems you're out materials. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Picking our way the SS Beagle. I know, I know. Sightless Passage, a cave of utter darkness into which almost no light filters. I explore for a bit rolling the glowing mushrooms to guide the way. Back to wait, unnecessary risk. I wish I had a better headlamp at my disposal. Turn to get this bargain, but I uh, let's wait for Ochi to get that back. Yeah, I don't know why it, like, has this as a new thing here in the Voyage Log when it's just, like, the same thing I literally just read. Oh, oh, oh she's doing that. We will explore. Yeah, well. No. Actually, no. Oh, right, I can go over there and go up here yet. Okay. Oh. Oh, he's almost got it back. You've experienced that too? You don't know why either? What was I just saying that you experienced that too? <laughs> what was I just saying? Well, let's go in. Sightless passage. Oh, the thing with the um. Yeah, with with it having it, you know the, the description of the cave. You read it, and then it still shows up as new in the thing. That that makes sense. Um. There's Pikmin. Yeah, we'll take 30 of each then. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's streamer brain. You say something, somebody in chat responds to it, and you're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what time are we at? Uh, quarter to eight. Okay. Hmm. It was wise to bring a headlamp. That was, oh wow, this is a decent sized cave. Well, there must be a castaway nearby. Hmm. Which 
trying to... Yeah, I'm gonna go this way first. Okay. Some more reds over here. We got a Game Boy Micro. And this is. Oh, I was going to say this is a dead end, but no, it's not. Not at all. Okay, we're gonna want yellows. Dealing with that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll get the hang of the controls in one of these days. Do we have Ochi trading something back? I guess so. That's fine. Those look electric y. Do not mean to throw reds as well. Captain X Flow, welcome in. How's it going? How are you doing? Thank you for those bits. Very much appreciated. The golden holder is here to say hello before going back to work. Oh yeah. Hopefully work is going smoothly. As long as... Ooh. New base on the lock, I'm not sure if there is... Doing good. Uh, you are as well. I am. Yeah. We should say, but lunch break is over. No worries. I understand completely. Oh, I completely did not even see this here. I was concentrating on this fire over here. to switch to Ochi.
that a Game Boy Advance cartridge? Japanese one, though, I think. I have yellows. Oh, because they're on the ground here. So apparently have yeah, some more yellows over here. my Pikmin are flowers already. Oh, some of these yellows aren't. Let's get... be some kind of entrance. Looks like a job for Ochi. charge more often. Aha! Why can't I reach? Ah.
Okay, we've got this. <laughs> oh right, the purple circles are where I can set up my base. I'm like, what's this purple circle here again? That makes sense. Oh, wait, do I? That's how. I'm overthinking it. Or, well, not overthinking it, I'm just forgetting that I can knock stuff off a ledge like that. See that ID info? Oh, you know who this is? Yanni. Oh, rescue corps officer, one of our people. Doctor who lives for discovering solving unusual cases. He jumps at every chance to test his experimental medicines. Alright, we found another rescue officer. And he's a talented doctor with a wealth of knowledge. With his skills, he can treat any injury or Ill injuries or illnesses that come our way. But he can even do something with the leafling castaways. Mr. Pilot is the only one of us still missing. Please continue your search. Hey, we found the doctor. Sir Dr. Yanni, let's ask him to examine Leafling when he wakes up. Our pilot Bernard might be one after all. Otherwise, I think we are... No, we are not. Done. Eighty percent. Never had our base here. I doubt that's... No, that doesn't change a percent. I didn't think it would, but I'm like... Might as well try. What am I missing? percent
Where do I get a percent for leaving? Also, I can't find anything else in here. Or on eight percent, though. Maybe eighty one, but like turn to surface. Rescues, yeah. Sparkling discovered. No, oh, still eighty percent. There's more treasure in there. percent for leaving apparently not somehow there's treasure in there that I didn't find down in there, I guess. <laughs> Maybe leaving and coming back will help me figure out what I missed. I'm just going to re uh, spawn some of the Pikmin in here. Oh, and it starts me off where I left from. That's interesting.
It'd be a good way to, you know, increase Pikmin count because you can keep, you know, coming, leaving here and coming back in. Just not seeing any more treasures. Apparently there's got to be something somewhere. Wait. No, that's just a... One of those pots. Is that another pot over there? Or is that something on the edge? Theory now is that there's something like on the edge somewhere. Because can we? No, oh, we can't even toss Pikmin up on the edge. Hmm. That makes that less likely. Find your next task. No, oh, I'm on my task. I'm just looking. There's something that is supposedly here. which we cannot find.
I may have. I may have to wait until I get the. Um, the uh, what shall we call it? The treasure radar, and then come back here. As it is, this is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Yeah. We'll come back here later. Bugs me that I can't... Oh. Other side, I need to go to the other side. Bugs me that I can't find what wait. No. Bugs me that I can't find whatever it is, but simple matter the fact of the matter is that I can't find it, and you know. Out. Sometimes it's just the way things go. Also, it is past 8, so I probably shouldn't be streaming too much longer, so probably will finish off this current in-game day, and then that's probably where we'll leave it for today. This way, yes, I want to explore. Further over here. This, I'm guessing that looks frozen, so I'm going to want ice pigment for that, which I don't have at the moment.
guessing... Yep. So I figure I can't go into there with... Non-blue Pikmin. Which we do not have nearly enough to... Do anything with. Um, sense. Actually, what we're going to do, we're not going to quite end. We're going to, because in the other, well, no, I should, I know that won't take too long, but I still probably shouldn't. Actually, let's take just a bunch of ice. Pikmin. And go see if I can't deal with that um, ice barrier before. No, no, no time. <laughs> That's fine. I'll just go put the ice. So there should be none in the field. Awesome. Oh yeah, we still need to complete that, which we can now actually. Also, voyage log, what's freezing plan? Battle creatures plan is harder, but it would be a lot easier if they didn't move so much. If I plan freeze with ice pigment or an ice blast. I'll charge them all at once. If I can freeze a flying kind in midair. I'll strike once they fall. Surprised I'm only getting that now, because I've like frozen enemies before. Well, maybe just because I had so many ice Pikmin out just now. Mission objective will be displayed on a screen. Type screen by ending ending the mission. Well, let's also see if there's any cutscenes from us rescuing the doctor. Yoni and another leaf wing. Pup drive up to two. Got a bunch of sparklium. Up to 41% from 17%. That's a decent increase. Four rescues, 22 treasures. Honey. Yanni's back. Captain, seems like we're making progress. Oh. Well done, Eric. So where is he, then? We need to discuss the leafling situation as soon as possible. Um, the thing is, after the four sleep mode is lifted, he kind of went right back to sleep. I think he'd been examining a plant that only appears at night, so he's pretty sleep-deprived. Seriously, he's out walking around at night here? It's ridiculously dangerous. So I should be grateful that he's still alive. Huh? That's strange. Put a bottle right here. Where did it... 
Dingo, you didn't drink that liquid that was sitting right here, did you? Did you? Hey, don't shut up me like that. But yeah, I was thirsty and it was right there, so I gave it a try. Who cares? Well, that was the medicinal ingredient that Yanni was using in his experiments. And you never thought to mention that until now? Uh, why do I suddenly feel very hot? You alright? Maybe you should go lie down too, Dingo. I suggest we put this meat on hold for a time being. Okay. Saving. Rescue mission day nine. Okay, oh, we don't have a cutscene here yet. We'll go through this cutscene yet. She caught up on everything now, Yanni. According to Dingo, this castaway may just be our pilot. Let me think. The primary symptom is the growing of the leaves, yes? That's the case, and I believe we may be able to cure them. While stranded, I discovered a bewitching specimen called a uh, luminol. It only appears in the dark of night. Dawn breaks, it releases a sap quite high in d d degrad degradative enzymes. I believe I can make a medicine out of these those creatures that can break down the newly grown leaves. No. Uh, for real? I mean, cool. But then they'll find out I just left Bernard behind. Uh oh. <laughs> Alas, our friend Diggo here consumed all the sap that I previously collected. Eh hey. Nah. So, New Blood will have to perform some night expeditions to harvest medicinal ingredients for us. I was having to lose sleep over, except in a literal sense. Eh <laughs> okay. Find me later, I'll teach you all you need to know what night expeditions. Excellent. Thanks to Yanni, it sounds like we have a solution to our leafling dilemma. Now, everyone to your stations, please. Perfect. Copy that, Captain. Okay. Um, rescue journal. So I became captain of the role of rescue pup caretaker at Bacon, so I can't part of the rescue pups. Family has kept this pedigree breed for generations beyond memory. So you find a recruiter to bond with Ochi like I do. Mark Shepard, captain in command. Okay. Save and return to title screen. Okay, so that's a good point to call it for today. I would like to do more, but I'm also, you know, working 4 a.m. tomorrow, so and it's already 8.30, so. <laughs> but hey, we got back to streaming after three weeks away from streaming, so you know what? That's a victory all on its own. And honestly, we have been live for like three and a half, no, three, three and three quarter hours, three hours, 45 minutes, yeah. But we're going to go find somebody to raid, so if y'all want to stick around for that, that'd be awesome. As I go and see who is live and who we want to go and raid. Let's see now. So, Curry is somebody playing Resident Evil 2. Uh, could raid somebody playing Pokemon Stadium 2. Um, could raid somebody playing uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. Yeah, I think that's... Ooh, or Super Mario World, uh, Kaizo ROM Hacks. Well, a Kaizo ROM Hack. Uh, don't know which one in particular. Yeah. Yeah, I think somebody one of those people, so let me know in chat if you have a preference for any of those games I just mentioned. Otherwise, I'll decide myself we're gonna go and raid. And yeah. I will hopefully be back tomorrow if I can start on time. Um, my ideal starting time is um, 3 p.m. Central Time. Um, 
and I like to start with Animal Crossing before switching to another game. Uh, tomorrow's Tuesday, so the other game would be uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which you'll also see on screen right now. <laughs> nice Pikmin 4 there. Then Wednesday is, after Animal Crossing, is um, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 The Sith Lords. Thursday, Metroid Fusion. Friday, Earthbound Beginnings. No stream Saturday. That's a day off. Sunday, if I can wake up early enough to, to do a S Animal Crossing at 7 a.m., I'd like to do that, but we'll probably we'll see whether or not that happens. If I do that, that'll probably be one of the 12-hour marathons I owe with Star Wars games after Animal Crossing. Um, but if I don't wake up early enough, then just no stream Sunday. And then Monday back to weekday schedule and uh, with Animal Crossing followed by more Pikmin 4. And that's the schedule for the next week. Um, and since nobody has a preference as to who we go and raid, I think, I think, I think we are going to go and... Uh, Raid uh, one of my plant army teammates. Wait, let me just see. Yeah, how long have they been live for? Yes, uh, Top Girl 301, who is playing Resident Evil 2. Um, so if you all want to join me on the raid, you can copy and paste the raid message and join in on the raid, and yeah. Thanks to everyone for coming out today, those who chatted, those who just lurked, uh, those who cheered, those who followed. You're all wonderful people. Um, thank you for all wonderful. How does my end... I always have a thing I say at the end. No, oh, when I haven't streamed for three weeks, let's see. Yeah, you're all wonderful people. Thank you for hanging out. It's been a blast and I will see you all later. <laughs> yes, let me just make sure I've copied the raid message. And bye.